Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Leader Class Maximal T-Rex from Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. Now as you probably guessed, this is a repaint of Megatron from the same line. Uh, it came out in Wave 1. This is a Target exclusive and this is a reference to a repaint that happened years ago back in the Beast Machines line. They had kind of a subline called Dinobots where they just did a bunch of different repaints of previous dinosaur toys from the Beast Wars line. And T-Rex was a repaint of Megatron. So that is an homage here. Done again, repainting the Kingdom Megatron toy into this Maximal T-Rex. Uh, pretty cool artwork though, I gotta say. I love the packaging. You have the robot mode, you have the dino mode very prominent here on the front. With the kind of prehistoric earth in the background. You got some pterodactyls and whatnot flying around. Pretty cool. Uh, got the usual Kingdom artwork here on the side. Just got a Maximal symbol up there. Not too much going on on the bottom. And on the back, again, we just have the robot mode and the T-Rex mode with the cave painting motif that they have for the back of all the packaging for Kingdom figures. So pretty cool. Uh, gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. So here he is out of the packaging. He looks pretty great. I really do like the color scheme of the maroon with the metallic blue. I think that works really well. I will say the front of the robot is a little bland though. You have a lot of just this kind of bland gray color. Uh, it would have been nice, maybe just have like a little metallic blue here in the chest somewhere. Maybe some color down here on the thighs or something like that. I mean, from what I understand, I didn't have the original toy, but from what I understand, that is pretty accurate to what the original toy looked like. But it just seems like it could have used just a little bit more color. I mean, the silver here around the collar is nice, but other than that, it's a little bland. But the dino mode looks really good, so we'll see that in a moment. That has a lot of nice color on it. Uh, you can see the T-Rex hand down here. You have the yellow eyes, which I think looks great. You can, of course, open the mouth. You can add an effect piece in here. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with one, but you can pop one in there. Really nice painted tongue. The teeth all look great. The roof of the mouth, everything about the T-Rex head looks really phenomenal. Uh, you have some nice metallic blue down here for the fist. And then you have a little bit here on the side for this kind of... I never really understood what this weapon was supposed to be. I guess just kind of like a lance. Or some kind of just melee weapon, I guess. I mean, he does kind of have the, the pincer claw working here, so you have that. Um, head sculpt looks good. The back of the box shows a little bit more of an angry expression, which I would have preferred, but I guess they just went with the Megatron head. But he's got nice yellow eyes, nicely painted face there, so he looks pretty cool. So there's not really any remolding here. It is really just a repaint of Megatron, so it's going to have all the same articulation. Heads on a ball joint, you get a little bit of up and down side to side not really any tilt side to side but you can get nice rotation there no problem you have a shoulder swivel you have a hinge here you have a bicep swivel you have 90 degrees in the elbow you don't really get anything in the hand it's pretty much just stationary i really wished and i wish this back with the original megatron mold as well i wish you could take this piece off like you did in the show because it really seems like you could easily just peg it on and, and then unpeg it it even almost looks like there's a peg right there on his forearm but then they decided to kind of put this this bolt all the way through you can see this pin here that goes through the wrist and then attaches here so i don't know just seems like a weird a weird choice to me it would be nice if you could take this piece off and just peg it in but uh this shoulder is pretty much the same you have kind of a little bit less articulation with the elbow here because of the head but you do have all the movement here for the t-rex head and of course the opening and closing jaw of the t-rex head uh, you do have a waist swivel here. You do have a uh, hinge and swivel. So you can kick pretty much forward and back all the way. You can kick out to the side decently, but this hip piece does get in the way a little bit. Uh, he does not have a thigh swivel, but he has a swivel right above the knee. And then, of course, you have, I would say, yeah, full 90 degrees there in the knee. You have some front to back in the ankle. And you have very limited ankle tilt, but you can get a little bit of ankle tilt out of him. But it almost feels like you kind of have to force it, which is a little weird. But it does work. And he's got a decent sized backpack. I mean, that's just pretty much all your, your T-Rex skin pieces here on the back, if that makes sense. But I mean, the original Megatron toy in this line, and of course the original toy back in the day, had quite a backpack as well. So that's a little to be expected. But yeah, he looks really good. Like I said, a little bit more color on the gray parts of the robot. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with him. So transformation for this guy is exactly the same as Megatron, so if you've transformed Megatron before, it is exactly the same. So I'm going to kind of roll through it fairly quickly, but you go ahead, you take this piece, this comes around, pegs in down here. These flaps will fold down, and you kind of have to get this tab 
in first and then you can kind of peg in this uh, back part here which doesn't always want to cooperate there we go so you just have to kind of swivel this around and these are kind of softer rubbery plastic but they will all peg in pretty nicely and then you just uh, spin the tail 180 to line that all up and then you can just kind of hang this down here for now you're going to take the t-rex head spin this around and this will kind of collapse up and the shoulder pad here kind of becomes the under part of the neck for the t-rex head so we have that going on there uh, we're going to flip this little panel out back here and we can flip out the t-rex hands we're going to separate the torso from the waist so right here this will pop up this will kind of fold down a little bit so that we can bring this up and spin this around like so. You can go ahead and rotate the head back into the chest like that. You're going to open up these flaps here. And then these pieces are still spring loaded. I never really understood why they're spring loaded. I guess just to keep them against the body of the T-Rex, but it is what it is. So then you're going to fold this up and this will become the underbelly of the Rex. So we just close these up. Now I can guarantee you during the transformation process, these are gonna pop open at least two or three times. So you just close them back up. And then you just kind of situate the head so that these flaps in this panel all kind of just, you know, fit where they should and it looks appropriate to close that all up around the neck. At this point, we're going to come, and this can be a little difficult, but you need to split this crotch piece here, the blue, and if you have fingernails, it helps, because I really feel like I'm going to break this thing half the time. Um, you can kind of grab onto these pieces here and try to use that to pry it apart. But if you're someone like me who just trimmed his fingernails, and it's not really helpful. So sometimes I'll just get like a tool or a pair of pliers or something. And just kind of pop this. That did not really work out. There we go. Okay, so once that unsnaps you can accordion these out and they're very tight joints which is good but at the same time it can be kind of a pain in the butt so you accordion these out and then they will kind of snap into place there so it's in that kind of wider stance at this point you're going to swing this down and this will peg in there we go and of course these have come unsnapped as I promised they would at this point you're going to rotate the tail up 180 degrees as you can see there these are gonna pop out they pull away they swivel down you can see that there's a peg hole here so that tabs in there pop this out swivel down and push that against the body then at this point this is going to unhook and it can be a little difficult because again, this is kind of a softer plastic here. So you wanna make sure you're not kind of grabbing on to the rubbery part. You kind of need to get a hold of this uh, gray piece here and make sure that's what you're pulling up. So once you have that, you can make sure these are out of the way. There are two tab slots right here and here and they will tab on right here and here. So this just drops back and that will peg into place like so at this point you're going to kind of swivel these around they have kind of a track that they're on as you can see right here so you'll swivel that around like so and then you just drop these down and they completely cover the rest of the robot legs and there you go you have our t-rex mode if these came unpegged just make sure that they're pegged back in and then just position the legs how you like and there you go. We have our giant maroon T-Rex. I really think he looks good, though, and I love the, the blue metallic paint that just runs all along the back here. Head can open up even wider now because he has a little bit more space. So you have the opening jaw. You have up and down movement. You have side to side neck movement here. I think you can, yeah, you can spin it around down here at what was the shoulder if you would like. You have a tiny limited ball joint for the two hands, and then of course you have the movement here in the leg. You have this same knee movement from the robot mode and the same ankle from the robot mode. 
And then you can kind of move the tail around here. You can move this piece of the tail around. So pretty good amount of range of motion for the T-Rex mode. I like them a lot. I really do. I like the Megatron mold. Uh, and I like, you know, this repaint is just a really great repaint. I kind of wish he had a little bit in terms of accessories. I mean, I know Megatron didn't really have any guns or anything, but it would have been kind of cool if he came with like an effect piece you could plug into the mouth there. Although I don't think the original Megatron did either. But yeah, T-Rex mode I think is a big success. So I think T-Rex is pretty great. I mean, it's a really great repaint of an already great mold. Plus it's got the nostalgia factor because it's an homage back to that Beast Machines uh, Dinobot subline. So he checks all the boxes. He's really, really cool. I like him a lot. I mean, wish list stuff, you know, I wish he had an effect piece for the inside of the mouth, but that's really about it. There's not really too much to complain about this guy. If you enjoyed the Megatron mold from earlier in Kingdom, you're going to like this guy. Now, he is a Target exclusive, so some people were kind of worried that he'd be difficult to come by. But honestly, I've been to Target a few times, and he's been like on an end cap with some other stuff. You know, he's around. I don't think he's going to be too difficult to find. Also, I got this one online, so he has been going in and out of stock online. So if you're looking for him, I would check your local Target first. If you can't find him there, check Target.com. But I don't think he's going to be too difficult to find. But like I said, he's great. I like him a lot. Minor nitpicks, you know, the lack of paint and maybe an accessory effect piece. That's about it. Otherwise, he's really a lot of fun. I definitely recommend picking him up. Now, you might be saying, you know, the original T-Rex toy has no meaning for me and I already have Megatron. Do I need this? Maybe you don't. I mean, your mileage is going to vary. But if you pick him up, I don't think you'd be disappointed. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.